Hi guys, this is Iman Sheikh Ansari, and in this video, I will teach you how to take a screenshot of any 3D model out of any software model that you like and transform it to this beautiful image using artificial intelligence, specifically transform machine learning models. Okay, I'm a Rhino 3D user, so I open up my Rhino, it's just see a simple boxes, and that's it. Uh, I just change some, uh, add some sphere and change the color to specify the uh, trees. So to be this time, uh, I want to be like this. Let me check it, it's my last model. Okay. That's a wider model and maybe changing some part of model like this to make it more random and a little bit different with the previous one. And here it is. Okay. I take the capture, capture to file and lowest resolution. That's all we need. Name it one. And one necessary part. We need the image depths. What's the image depths? The objects that are closer to camera should be different in color with objects that are, uh, you know, somehow behind the camera or far from the camera that are black to make more specific far. So I save my depth image also. And D. And that's all we need. If you're using SketchUp, Blender, 3D Max, Revit, that's all you should do. And again, type show Z buffer. Uh, of course, if you have, have more detailed model, the transformation of the model will be better. But we stick with the simple boxes and let's go. And the first part is set up and import, which import the necessary uh, file models to our Google Cloud Notebook. Wait until it gets done. It is unnecessary to go to the details. You could open up the file and see all the uh, details of of what's library loaded, how we, you know, uh, using stable diffusion, specifically the version two, and continue our process. Okay, that's it. All the model is loaded. Let's go here. And in this part, we should upload the base image, which is just the screenshot of our uh, model. One specific thing, uh, if you're a Rhino user or any software user, I didn't go in a rendered view mode or anything like this. I just use simple shaded view mode, which usually take no times. And let me run the second part to upload my depth image. Choose file and D and that's it. So I have prompt here, which talk about award winning uh, architecture of Turkey of Breakers apartment in street view. And that's it. Um, my prompt is not necessarily match with just this new, uh, I don't know, screenshot, but I run it and let us see what would the results be. Run the model again. You could, of course, I don't know, change the brick house to anything you like, or even it's not necessarily, you know, matched for architecture or made for architecture. You could use vehicle, you could use characters, sculpture, anything you want. Just type the prompt that describes the scene and we are waiting for a result to be seen. I hope this is one good one. Mm, that's bad. And that's very good. Uh, as satisfying for me, but let's try something new. Instead of brick house apartment, I want to type, mm, I don't know, cement maybe or stone, something like this. And rerun the models. Of course, you could change some prompts as you need, like, I don't know, add a multi-story house apartment, six-story house apartment, or um, for the next part, I, instead of house apartment, I choose, or, or I maybe retype villas because uh, the model don't understand the scale of the 3D model, but we could describe the scale of 3D models to it. Um, not bad, not good, as acceptable somehow. As I said before, you could change the script, uh, or to be more specific, <laughs> prompt and get better result. I don't know, villa in the street with trees and Okay, let's run it again. Hope this time gets great results. Mm, I should be more specific about the stone part because I think it would make some confusion, but let's, let's stick to it and see how it could change and how we could change it. As I said before, if you had some, uh, I don't know, windows, uh, any more details that would be added to this model, is the process of the understanding of the model for transformer. And of course it would get us better results. We should wait a little bit more. Uh, one other thing. I'm on a standard Google Cloud plan, nothing paid, and you could see the speed is pretty much acceptable for me. You could run it again. Oh, something weird happened. Uh, the tree here has transformed to stone. Uh, so let us be more specific. I delete the street. Instead of stone, I add, uh, I don't know, stick with the brick. or don't mention any material or anything. Let me read it again. The board main architecture of the villas with trees. Okay, great. And let's as uh, some prompt engineering I add to my prompt to get 
better results and hope this one give me satisfying result. Not very great, not very bad. Let me change the guidance scale to something a little bit lower. Maybe 8. If you are a stable diffusion user or a stability user, you are somehow familiar. If not, just search prompt engineering on net and you could see how you could change uh, attribute of the prompts and get more desired results out of it. And um, somewhat better, or I want to add something like um, with large, I don't know, with windows and an interior as my last change to the prompt. You could see how easily we change the scale of mother from, I don't know, uh, an apartment to a villa, and I hope I will get good result out of this one. Okay, that's not bad, that's good. Um, I would probably somehow mm, increase the guidance scale and we're on the model again. Of course, you need a little bit of patience. If I know you're somehow old like me and you use Vray, you should also wait for Vray to, to give you a good result. Mm, I don't know, it's somehow in some degree acceptable for me, but I want to go somehow crazy and put the guidance scale to 10 and see what the result would be. Here it is. I know that's pretty much acceptable for me at this step. And just run the last part, the output part that plots the, my screenshots and the results. You could easily, I don't know, put something like 2050 to get some futuristic results at the name of the arc, the like saw, editor, etc. And if you're using it for, you know, I don't know, design a vehicle or any object, if you're an industrial result designer, it would work great. Thank you for watching me. Uh, hope it was useful to you and uh, see you soon. One last note, don't forget to subscribe and tag me if you get any good or interesting or bad results out of it as a bug and let me know. Hope to see you soon.